Hi, so today we are going to add an animated Bitmoji to a previously created virtual classroom. If you don't know how to create a virtual classroom, please check my channel for a tutorial on how to do that. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to let you listen to a short video on Record It that I did that will explain to you how to actually access um, your animated Bitmoji. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is to go to Snapchat. Once you get to Snapchat, then what you need to do is to click on search. And then you're going to search for the type of bitmoji that you want to um, animate. So I typed in bitmoji and then I simply click search. And you can kind of scroll down through here and there are different types of bitmojis. You can even click here where it says view more and you'll find some more. And here's some like skipping rope, the person sleepy, blowing kisses. So there's all types of things that you can actually pick. So let's say I'll pick jump freeze. And this gets a little tricky because what you have to do is to then make sure that you have a white piece of paper or a white card um, behind your phone. Okay, so there's the Bitmoji right there. And now what I'm going to do is, and by the way, it says right there, swipe to try another lens. And that just means if you want to try a different Bitmoji. So I have the one that I think I want, and that's the one that I want to record so I can then add it to my Google Slides or my Google Classroom. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this button and I'm gonna hold it down until that red line goes all the way around the circle because it's actually recording. And then I'll stop right there. And then I'll click the Save button. Now it has saved what my Bitmoji was doing. And then I can go to Story and then click cancel. And then right underneath the big circle here, you can click that again. And then you'll actually be able to click on the last Bitmoji um, that you saved. And for me, it's the one that says 10 seconds all the way on the left, the very first one actually. And so then I'll click on it. And so now what I want to do is I want to actually export it so that, again, I can add it onto my Google Slides or um, into my Google Classroom. So I'm going to click the three buttons up here or the three dots at the top. I'm going to click on Export Snap. And then I'm going to scroll through. Now, of course, you can save it in your camera roll or you can send it to um, if you have your classroom on here, your Google Classroom, you can save it right to your Google Classroom. But I'm just going to go ahead and put it into my Google Drive. And then I'm going to have to click on my name right here because I have more than one. Um, Gmail accounts and then here it is right here it's as a as a movie and then I can go ahead and click upload and now it is actually uploaded into my Google Drive so next we're going to go and I'm going to show you how to um, import it and make it into a GIF and then um, go ahead and import it onto your Google Slides Okay, so now we will go to our Google Drive and we can actually find where we uploaded our animated Bitmoji and it's actually right here. So I'm going to click on it, double click. 
And once I double click it, then I'm going to download it. I can come over here and click download and it'll appear down here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to uh, www.unscreen.com and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on upload clip because again I'm trying to make a GIF and then I'm going to find the file the animated bitmoji and it's the very last one or the first one I guess you could say and then I click on it and then it's uploading it and this could take a, a few seconds right here so don't don't be alarmed And once you act, once it actually finishes uh, the upload, go down here and just make sure that you click on transparent. Okay, so I'm gonna click on transparent first, right? And then I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna click download and then I'll click on GIF and what it will do is actually put it down here. And again, this could take a, a little while, a few seconds. So again, don't, don't be alarmed. It's still working. Okay, almost finished. All right, and as you can see, it appears down here. Now you can go back to your original slide. And I'm just going to click here and just remove this one so you can just see how to add it. And I just clicked on it and just hit um, the, the delete button. All right, and then you just simply come over here and just add it into your slide. And of course, you can readjust your Bitmoji. Move it over, move it up, make it a little bigger, make it smaller, um, just by moving um, this right here. All right, so once it's the Bitmoji is in position, um, then you can um, go ahead and download it to your Google Classroom. And of course, right here, this is where I previously added a voice memo, and I'll just play a little bit of this to this virtual classroom. And if you don't know how to do that, again, hey, you, can check, okay, you can check um, my channel for another tutorial. So there you have it. That's how you add an animated Bitmoji to a virtual classroom. Um, hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, please subscribe to the channel because there are lots of other valuable tutorials on there. All right, thank you.